What is it about the unknown that elicits such fear and curiosity? Whether it be in books, movies, or real life, mysteries have the ability to trigger deep emotional responses that can put in flux everything we thought we knew about the world around us. For the past few months, we've broken down some of the most mysterious events to ever take place in popular culture. Events that have sparked viral social media interaction, raised introspective questions, and have reshaped not only our perspectives, but our basic understanding of the role science plays in everyday life. But just when we thought mysteries couldn't get any more puzzling, another unexplained phenomenon arises with both scientific and cultural applications. An unexplained mystery that could possibly restructure individual identities and race relations forever. Are you on the edge of your seat yet? Good, because you just might need superpowers to brace yourself for this one. On December 21st, 2020, an astronomical event 400 years in the making took place. The gas giants of Jupiter and Saturn, two planets that have brought much wonder and fascination to our solar system, joined forces in a collaboration that would make even the likes of Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack proud. The event, astronomically coined the Great Conjunction, or the Christmas Star by some, brought into alignment the orbiting paths of both Jupiter and Saturn. The passing of these two planets happens commonly, but what made this event so special is that it had been 400 years since the two planets passed this closely. So closely that from our perspective here on Earth, the two planets almost exactly overlapped each other in the night sky. Considering that this event took place during the day 400 years ago, and it had been 800 years since it was actually visible by humans at night, add in the fact that many from across the world were still in lockdown or practicing safe social distancing measures word of this event inspired thousands from all across the globe to go outside and witness one of the rarest celestial events of all time and that curiosity for astronomy is where our mystery fully develops like a hateful tweet about beyonce that got in the hands of the bayhive an interesting belief about this event spread like wildfire Black Twitter and every other social channel possible went ablaze with a statement that on the onset of this astronomical event, every black person on Earth was to receive superpowers. Yes, superpowers. I'm talking Luke Cage, Storm, Cyborg, Wakanda forever. It was believed that the conjunction of these two planets would somehow spark a genetic adaptation in people of African descent unlocking code within their DNA and allowing them to physically and mentally do things that were only thought to be fiction. Black people from all walks of life were prepared for the moment, sending tweets, making comments, and creating posts about what they would do when their superpowers were unlocked. I myself ventured to the peaks of Griffith Observatory to witness this intergalactic phenomena in hopes that my superpowers would unveil themselves in front of the hundreds that were in attendance where I could hopefully fly out or teleport over the Hollywood sign and take my rightful place as the official leader of the Black Stem Avengers conglomerate. Okay, a little dramatic, I know. And obviously, none of that happened. I didn't morph into the Incredible Bulk. That's the Black Hulk, if you didn't get that reference. 21 Savage was still savage, not ruthless. 50 Cent was still two quarters, not a Benjamin. And Pooh Shiesty was still, well, just shiesty. Black people from all across the world were once again left disappointed, toyed with, played, and bamboozled. But was the notion of people of African descent having superpowers really that far-fetched? Is the thought of an entire nation of highly educated and powerful and sophisticated black people with superhuman capabilities truly just that of a Marvel comic book? Well, for the purposes of this video discussion, I'll be keeping a running tally throughout of my own personal unique superpower skills. Ability to keep audience engaged with popular rap and pop culture references. Check. In order to make sense of this all, we need to first understand what sets black people apart from other racial groups. Forget the common stereotypes like member size or the ability to hoop or play football. 
even though black people make upwards of 70 to 80 percent of the NFL and the NBA, skin color alone is not enough to scientifically categorize a person's athletic performance. Or is it? Melanin is a commonly misunderstood and misconstrued molecule. It's often associated with people of color. But what some may not know is that every single race has melanin. Yes, she has melanin. And she has melanin too. Whether you're a red-haired Kathy Griffin or obsidian black Akon, your skin contains the molecule melanin, just in varying amounts. Melanin is found in different areas of the human body, including the skin, hair, pupils, inner ear, brain, and adrenal gland. It's responsible for protecting your DNA from harmful UV radiation and is broken down into different types known as pheomelanin, neuromelanin, and eumelanin. Pheomelanin is found in the hair and skin and is responsible for producing red and pink pigments like those found on your lips and nipples and is most notably detected in people with red hair color. Trippy red, notwithstanding. Neuromelanin is a darker polymer pigment. It's found in various areas of the brain and a high accumulation of it has been linked to degenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease. Eumelanin is what we normally associate with darker skin pigment. It also makes up the dark colors in your hair and eyes. Varying amounts of brown and black eumelanin can give skin different pigmentations as well as hair color, with blonde resulting from low levels of eumelanin and black hair forming from higher concentrations. Melanin is produced within special skin cells known as melanocytes. Every human has these cells, it's just that some produce more melanin than others. If we look at the archaeological history of humanity as well as our evolution, we find that early humans who were more exposed to high concentrations of UV radiation from the sun developed vastly higher amounts of melanin. This molecular component is finely tuned within our DNA and is subsequently passed down from generation to generation. And that is where our scientific mystery comes into full light. Get it? Light? UV radiation? Sun? <sighs> Ability to make funny puns. <sighs>
it becomes apparent how even some of the most stereotypical beliefs are somewhat rooted in scientific truth. We're swimming right now, right where the tectonic plates between North America and Europe are separating, right in the middle of the crack. This is pretty crazy. The water is three degrees, or in dry suits, and I'm about to look at some underwater views. This is bananas. My black ass in the water trying to snorkel. That was a video of me snorkeling in Iceland. Just so you know, for proof. Ability to swim. Check. This electricity conducting ability of eumelanin sets the stage for a number of interesting superhero applications. Imagine taking a melanin rich individual like Lil Wayne and biologically enhancing his body with nanoparticles that would allow him to record sound waves digitally into the recording studio without ever having to touch a mic. Or embedding Lil Yachty with a bioelectronic device that would enable him to insert his ad lib Lil Boat into any conversation at any time. Lebo, Lebo, Bo. That's Lebo, Lebo, Dad. Probably not the most sought after superhero powers, but with the ability to create sheets of thin eumelanin film that can be used to code electrical devices or components and then insert it into the human body, development of this technology may forever change the way we think of true superhero abilities. Who knows, when the next great conjunction takes place, black people may not have to worry about unlocking their special powers but instead controlling and harnessing them as to not give away all their innate bionic capabilities. I'm the Hip Hop MD. This is Hip Hop Science, reminding you that curiosity is nature's PhD. Never stop asking. <sighs> <sighs> Ability to fly.